Hey, it's Pokey and I have uh, decided that after a very long time and a very long effort trying to uh, have success with the uh, plastic fiber blades, have decided that it is time to go with a Windy Nation blade. Now I'm going to weigh all of these here in a minute and then I'm going to be cutting in and out of this video because I'm going to assemble it and I got the steel hub and it is decent thickness it's not real thin so it's pretty thick and uh, they say it handles a pretty good wind speed um, diameter wise this is going to be a uh, pretty good size theirs come with star washer embedded nut and 7 16 top from bottom uh, including the uh, washers to go on the blades also so I mean these really hold on tight um, span wise this here is a pretty good size uh, blade as you'll see this is a four foot piece of plywood with a eight inch wide piece added to it just for a working area and um, pretty good size setup you know if you add all the blades to it they come with all their hardware and this is about the cheapest alternative and it does have 17 millimeter for your PMAs your alternator style but Might have to clip that to get that nice looking. Um, but this is the Windy Nation setup, and we'll get them all bolted. You can look. Um, it looks a little strange in the in the ad. It looks like it's got a little not uh, raised, but that's just the way these are cut in. And however, the blade is very well stamped, and um, and you can tell that it's done right because you see them little notches right there. You see how that's done. That right there tells you that it is a massive pressure stamp. So uh, they, that would get the aluminum fairly hot in the process, which would mean that it's not gonna lose its shape. That's, that's, that's an impressive start. So they did pretty good on that with my view. Um, in addition, the blade has a natural uh, cutback, natural cutback stiffener that's in it. If you can see it, it's just a slight, right in this area where it gets a slight cutback to get to that flat point that's your high speed area now however these blades are not designed to have low pressure on the back of the blades and so it's this is more of the fan style now what i've got here is a piece of door channel trim and you'll see here it's shaped like a little airplane wing and by placing this um, long ways on the whole length of the back of the blade you will end up with pressure ridge on the back of the blade, the whole length of the blade. And it just goes on with uh, an adhesive and rivets. So it looks like something that'll work pretty nice. And this gives it a 3 16th, 3 16th of an inch of a low pressure wing on the back of the blade. So as you look and you take it and you put this in its place and properly trim the tip, this will give you a low pressure and it'll addition additionally it'll give a little more stiffness to the blade which uh, from what I can tell I don't think stiffness of the blade is going to be an issue okay so this is the Windy Nation blades I'll do a few cut ins and cut outs here to show you them assembled and then they're going on chaos yes chaos is installed and we're having a little problem with chaos because it's using a Missouri tail on her um, and <laughs> That tail don't track anything, so we got to go add a little bit of length to that one, and I'll show All you. All right, now to be fair to the process, we're going to weigh each one of these blades in grams, and here is the five blade. You count five there, and we're going to take these blades. Now, I have the Missouri blade that has got to be the most tragically unbalanced blade I've ever used, the Missouri Raptor blade. So. Uh, we're not going to uh, we're not going to repeat this process. Then we got 468 on number one here, and then and there's a plastic film, so we had to take the plastic film off of these. Okay, and 469, 469. Let's compare that back to number one here. Okay, so number one blade, we've got 468. That's number one blade. 
and let's try number two blade is 469 bouncing a little bit back and forth there so that's one gram of difference and I'm going to put let me get this over Four sixty-eight. Four sixty-eight. So that's two of them at four sixty-eight and one at four sixty-nine. Get these out of my way up here. Okay. Get that back on there. Okay. And now we've got this one here seems a little bit heavier. Four sixty-nine. So I've got two four sixty-nines. And two 468s. Sit that in the middle there. And another 469. So I've got practically, let's see here, practically three 469s and I have two 468s. So let's try that 468 again. See how much, how close that is on the difference. So let's see here. Well, it came up to 469. Maybe it's how I'm setting it on the scale. Just touching it. Oh, well, that looks like it's right at an average of 469. Let's try that one again because that one was 468. Set that back down. So 468. So I got one at 468 and four at 469 and that 468 kind of wants to bounce up and the 469s kind of want to bounce down. So I'm going to say pretty much 468 and a half seems to be the given average on these Windy Nation blades. Uh, Raptor blades were anywhere between 20 and 30 grams difference. This is actually very freaking accurate. So let's get them installed. All right, guys, now that we've got this assembled, um, I give you a little notes of advice. You want to make sure that your, that your square line is kept on this uh, hub because there is a little tiny, tiny bit of slack, you know, when you're tightening up. So you want to make sure that it does line up very good. Um, if you're in doubt, you can make a center mark measurement from here to the front of this one over here and do it on every blade make sure you're perfectly centered uh, i checked it after putting it together and it was just literally a 30 second of an inch uh, totally insignificant when it comes to this um, everything else is absolutely perfect and we're taking it up here in just a second and we're going to put this five blade on in place of a 10 blade that currently has a bunch of those raptor blades on it uh, beating the hell out of my uh the pipe that the turbine's mounted on and the mount and you know i named the turbine chaos because it's for autism uh however it don't need to act like it's crazy okay so we're going to replace it with something decent you'll see it here as we go up and we'll get that known all right up here with chaos um as you can see the tail is not tracking as good as the tail on the other one and um i have on here every other blade uh, if I take these painted up Raptor blades off it works great with just the five shorter clear blades but leaving the Raptor blades on it it just shakes like hell and we're getting a lot of it shooting down into the uh, uh, down into the framing of the shop so it's going to eventually wear out my bearings and since I've got the the Thermodyne PMA on here, um, it's got a lot more copper and heavier stuff in it and I needed the heaviness because this is a Missouri tail and it's real freaking heavy physically, uh, but it's, but it's kind of small, you know, and it's not working very well. So we're going to add, we're going to add on to this um, a, uh, a little bit of extra. Because it's not tracking very good and 
it's set up, that's a hell of a nice setup it's not to track very good that's that's just piss poor so um this is chaos like the multiple colors you'll see it here the wind kicked up let's see if you'll be able to hear it and see it as soon as it gets up to a little speed right now we're only about a six mile an hour wind that thermodyne pma it turns real easy in low wind so uh I'm getting a little bit of shake out of it, just a little bit. So it's these Raptor blades, and I did try, uh, my damnedest, look at the weight. 462, 459, 458, and this is after, after drilling them out to get them to weigh the same. So, and it didn't work well because the problem is somewhere else in the length of the blade, all right? So we're removing this crap now. Already a good start. The Wendy Nation blades are turning already. Look at them go. Not too bad. Let's see what they're going to do. Hopefully they power up and they don't blow themselves apart. But that tail right there has got to be dealt with. It's just too small. It's not allowing this thing to track good. And this thing here tracks with the touch of a finger. Look at this with the touch of a finger guys but this tail is just too damn small it's heavy enough to counteract the heavy copper and magnets and windings and all that stuff in that thermodyne PMA but it just don't track worth a damn I ain't kidding you look at this and now that's the wind blowing against it look how slow it's moving that's the wind watch this just barely touching it with my hand that sucks so we're going to take this Missouri wind tail and make it where it actually will work you want to see what I had to do with these Missouri blades to try to get them balanced guys look at that three little tiny screws because you should have seen this before I tried to balance it this one here was 462 and I put lots of little dimples in it okay this one here was the means blade which means it was a given average um, I think I believe it was a given average uh, the 462 is what I ended up with here's where I started and you can check this you can take Raptor blades and you can put them on get you a good gram scale uh, and and this is what I ended up with this one here was brought up to 458 by putting those screws in it it originally was if you could barely see it underneath down there Right there it says 447 underneath that. You see, I had to bring it to 458, bring this one down uh, from, see you can see it's a Raptor blade under there. It's just a green paint job. I love them green blades that uh, Thermodyne sent me. So I painted these green, said, man, I gotta have that. I loved it, it went good with the clear blades. So I loved it so much, but they're a lot smaller. The, the ones, the uh, blades from Thermodyne, were about that much longer so these are a lot smaller but you know they work well if you can find a completely balanced set they do actually work okay um, but this one right here is brought up to 459 by putting screws in it see look even over here in the handle and I tried to without sending them down here but I mic these later on while they were up there and man these are <laughs> these are different by 20 thousandths plus so, and, and you can see the grinding marks. I ground down some of the back of this blade because it was way, way thicker than this one over here. So I don't know how in the hell they're getting these to even work. Uh, but this one here was uh, originally 484 and I brought it down to about 470 by drilling it out. And I can go back in there and weigh it, but I mean, I brought it down about 470 by drilling it out, but it still, I wasn't getting it low enough to get on the hub, see? So I was shooting for 460 all the way around, and I had to drill this one all out. 
and it's hidden underneath there. It's, it's on the other side maybe, but it's the weight on it. Um, I believe this one here got down to 460 even. And then this one over here was, uh, or I think it was 460. This one was 460. This one got down to 462 or something. So I have like 462 and 462, 459 and 458. And I kind of worked them to where I had a light, a heavy, a heavy, and then two of them that were kind of to balance. And I have changed this around so many freaking times to try to get these blades to work. And, and they just don't. And um, I mean, I see videos all the time of these people with these blades and, it, and, and their, their turbines just doing this crap, you know, like Stephen T's. I mean, straight out of the box, that's what they do. Even, even that guy over in Greece, uh, Theo guy, uh, it just shakes like hell. <laughs> but they're proud to own it and me I can't I can't just keep replacing bearings or having blades that's the reason the one we had once before snapped off apparently was the un, the very bad weight of the blades uh, here's here's the thermodyne blades 292 292 291 I can't read it I think it's 291 also and 292 so the thermodyne blades hell they were within a gram of each other these things up to 37 grams difference I mean I'm, you know I mean if you're in Missouri and you're a meth dealer 37 grams is a lot of money uh, but if you're in Missouri and you're making these blades 37 grams is a lot of money also because it'll trash your shit so y'all be careful with that uh, there's got to be a way that y'all can balance these if you're using them I don't say that they're, I don't think they're a bad design. I just think they're just really poor quality plastic. Uh, the company that makes them apparently isn't paying any attention to their actual weights, where the weight is, because like I said, these thicknesses are so graphically different. Um, and they supposedly show video of them miking them out. And I don't know what the hell they're using to mic them with, but they're not reading the mic in the video. <laughs> um, and there's an obvious reason why. So. Uh, I think this type of plastic is a thermal plastic that might swell or it might contract. I have no idea. But whatever the deal is, you can see all the holes. And yeah, I did paint them green because I wanted them to, because I thought that ones from Thermodyne were so sweet looking. Uh, and then I did the little patchwork on them to make them look like uh, the, for the Chaos Turbine, which um, uh, so far so good. Uh, the uh, other blades are working good. but. I mean, you know what, man, when you got one of them at 484 and another one at, at, at 450 something, guys, come on, man, that's not good. We got to get them closer. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the Thermodyne blades either, but I mean, at least, at least his green ones weigh 389 and his, and these here weigh 292 on average, and they're almost perfect all the way around. They just don't produce as good, you know, because they're sword blades. Uh, and this guy's blades could produce good if if they wouldn't cavitate so damn bad so uh it seems about going back to the story no matter where you go no matter what you do sword blades just suck okay um i'm lucky with pinky because those are all uh i had i had put back on all the thermodyne blades so here pinky is spinning real good she's all thermodyne again and that one up there is not spinning at all because I've got another set of those ordered. The um, um, the Windy Nation blade. And those suckers are spinning good. Tail ain't bouncing. Can't hear it from here like you could. That's a good start. Let's hope Windy Nation works out.